Hi, my name's George. Uh, I'm going to be seeing you today. Hi, I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Um, so we've got a referral through for your shoulder, is that correct? Yes, it is, yeah. And are you right or left-handed? Uh, right-handed. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what's been going on when it started? Yeah, so I'm a painter decorator and it started about three weeks ago. Um, started to just get some pain on the outside part of my shoulder um, and then it started to travel a little bit further down into the elbow. Um, it started off fairly gradually, but then it's just started to get progressively worse and worse. I'm really sort of noticing it if I'm sort of sleeping on that side or if I'm lifting, trying to lift my arm up above my head or for like prolonged periods of time and it's quite difficult for me obviously being a decorator I need to try and keep working as much as I can. Yeah. Can you recall anything that uh, would have caused the pain? Any injuries, incidents? No, nothing in particular. In no, it just sort of gradually, gradually came on. And how's the pain at the moment? Is it worse, better, much the same? It sort of it started off about sort of six out of ten um, when it's its worst, and that's fairly constant. But then if I do something that aggravates it, it'll go up to about an eight out of ten. Okay. And do you get any other other symptoms in your arms? Any numbness, pins and needles, unusual sensations? I've had a little bit of sort of tingling down into my hand, but but that's it. No, okay. no other sort of numbness or anything like that at all. Any neck pain at all? No, nothing. No, no. And. Are there any movements or positions in particular that will aggravate your shoulder? Yeah, it's often things like if I'm trying to put like a, a coat on or like I say keeping my arm up above my head is, is quite uncomfortable. Um, notice if I'm sort of tucking a t-shirt into my uh, into my belt or something like that, they're the most worst things. And how's the pain at the moment? Is it worse, better, much the same? I think it's getting sort of progressively worse actually at the moment. Okay, and if you had to uh, put a number to it out of 10, so not, no pain at all, 10's mm. the worst pain you can imagine, where would you rate that? I say it's normally sort of six out of 10, um, pretty much all the time, but then when I do things that aggravate it, it goes up to about an eight out of 10. Any neck pain at all? No, nothing, no. And are there any particular movements that will aggravate your shoulder? Yeah, so it's more things like putting, if I'm putting my arm up, but right up above my head, which is obviously difficult with work, or if I'm putting like a coat on, I really notice it. Um, and then also like if I'm trying to put my arm, sort of tuck my t-shirt in for my, into my belt, that's something I really notice as well. Okay, and have you found anything that will help with the pain? Yeah, a hot bath can um, can really help in the evening after a day's work, or um, if my pain is quite severe, then I'll take some paracetamol, but I don't really like taking medication, so I try and avoid it if I can. And is there any pattern to your pain during the day? It's generally when I'm doing those activities that I said earlier that, that will tend to flare it up. Um, yeah, that, they're the worst ones, really. Are you getting any night pain? I only get night pain if I'm sort of lying on my right side. Um, if I go onto my back or onto my left, then it's, it's generally okay. But like I said, it's mainly just sleeping on that right side is uncomfortable. And how does it then feel in the morning? It's okay. It's a bit, a little bit uncomfortable. It's not particularly stiff. It's just a bit, a bit sore if I've been led on it. Okay. And how long does that stiffness take to ease? Oh, just if, you know, once I get get up and get moving, it's there's no problems at all. So, what do you understand as to what's been going on with your shoulder? I'm not too sure to be honest. I went to the GP, but they didn't really give me a clear diagnosis and just referred me into physio. Um, so I've had a little bit of a look on Google, um, and it's come up with some pretty scary things really. So I'm getting a little bit worried about you know potentially making it worse um, and then not being able to potentially return my, to my job. So we can have a little look into the shoulder in a minute and hopefully rule out anything serious. Okay. Um, what do you want to achieve or what's your goal out of physio? Just to be able to return to, to work really and be completely pain free. I think you know being self-employed is just really important I'm able to do that, definitely. So we just need to run through a few routine medical questions. Um, something we ask everyone, nothing to worry about. All right, is that okay? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. yeah. So do you have any heart conditions at all? No. Any lung conditions? Not aware of, no. Are you diabetic? No. Any thyroid issues? No, I don't think so. Do you suffer from rheumatoid arthritis? No. Um, any allergies at all? No. Any epilepsy? No, I don't think so. Any recent surgery we should be aware of? No. Are you feeling generally well in yourself at the moment? Yeah, not too well at all, thanks. Yeah. Do you take any regular medication other than the pain relief? No, 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 like I say, just paracetamol. Okay. No course of steroids or anticoagulants? No. Uh, any history of cancer at all? No. No? No radiotherapy at all? No, no, no. Like that. No. no. Um, and you haven't had any unexplained or unexpected weight loss? No. No. Uh, any changes in your bladder or bowel function at all? No. No loss of sensation between your legs, going to the toilet, everything feels normal? Yeah, absolutely fine. Good. Any dizziness, nausea or vomiting at all? No. No. Any fainting? No. No issues with your eyes or ears? No, no. Taste or smell? No, nothing. Perfect. Um, we'll have a little look at your shoulder now.
So we just need to go for a few movements of your shoulder now. Okay. okay. So first of all, with your thumbs pointing forwards, I want you to lift your arms up as high as you can in front of you. Yeah, that gets quite painful there. Okay, and then I'm just going to feel if I can take that any further. Okay, good. And then back down. And then this time we're going to come up and out to the side. It's up as high as you can go. Yeah, it's starting to be uncomfortable there again. Okay, are you able to take that any further? Mm, it's a bit uncomfortable, yeah. If we just go up with you. Good, and back down. Okay, this time with your elbows bent, yep. your arms down by your side, keep those elbows tucked in, uh -huh. and then take your arms out, hands out to the side. Yeah, again, a bit uncomfortable on that side Good. there. Can we take that any further? Yeah. Yes. Good, and then this time, can you just reach your arms up behind your back? Yeah, that one's fine. Good. Yeah, and again, a little bit uncomfortable on that one. Okay, this time what we're going to do um, is just test your strength. So if we repeat those movements, and we'll, I'll just resist them as we go through. So okay. first of all, bring your arm up forwards in front of you. So push as hard as you can up, all the way up. Good, good. And we'll just compare that to the other side. And with this one, push as hard as you can all the way up. Good. And then up and out to the side. So up, pushing up as hard as you can. Good, and compare to this side. Push up as hard as you can. Good, and then arms down by your side. This time we're gonna be pushing out, all right? Okay. Push as hard as you can out. Good, and then pull in as hard as you can. Good, okay, there's just a, a couple of extra tests that we're gonna run through. Okay. All right, so if you can just stay nice and relaxed for me. Just tell me how that feels. Yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable doing that. Okay, and then repeat on this side. No problems that yeah, side. Yeah, that's fine. Good. This time what I'd like you to do, arm straight out in front of you with your thumb pointing up. Yeah. Give me a good push up there. Yeah, a little bit uncomfortable, not too bad. And then point your thumb down. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable doing that. And yeah. push up there. Again, we'll repeat on this side. So, thumb up first. And then thumb pointing down. Good. Okay, this time what I'd like you to do is put your hand onto your stomach with your elbow out to the side. And I'm going to try and pull away, all right? I'm just keep your arm there. No issues there? No. Nope. Now on this side. No issues there? No, nope, no problems. This time what I want you to do is bring your arms into this position. Okay. And then just push up against my hand. Good. Uncomfortable, but. Okay. So we're just going to run through a few exercises that you can do at home, okay? Uh, so I have using a weight or uh, like a bottle that we have yeah. here. So first one, if you pick the ball up, yeah. okay? Straight arm out in front of you, and you're just going to be lifting that up as high as comfortable, okay? And then slowly bringing that back down, okay? Yep. Yeah. Next one, similar movement, but we're doing that movement out to the side. So a straight arm out to the side, again, lifting that up as high as is comfortable, and then coming back down. Okay, the last one, if I can get you to lie on your side. And what you'll do with your arm resting on your side, okay, keep that elbow touching the side of your body and then just rotate that hand out to the side so you're lifting the, the bottle up. Good. There we are. So thank you for letting me have a look at your shoulder. Uh, I believe you have something we call subacromial pain in your shoulder. Uh, this is a term that we use to describe pain originating from that subacromial area. Um, it's something that is thought to originate from the rotator cuff muscles. Uh, these are a group of muscles that sit around your shoulder and are involved in movements of the shoulder and, and providing stability. These can get a bit weaker uh, or the tendons that attach those muscles to the bone can become a little bit deconditioned and, and inflamed at times. Um, this is all quite normal. It can be due to your age, overuse, um, work, hobbies, and things like that. Uh, it can take around 6 to 12 weeks to settle down, uh, and you should see some real improvement, uh, but be aware it could take a little bit longer. 
There are many ways of managing subacromial pain, uh, but reassuringly, even if we did nothing, it will often get better on its own. What, we, what can be useful is simply offloading the shoulder, so avoiding those aggravating movements, uh, changing positions uh, that, are, that are aggravating, uh, changing tasks at work, and, and avoiding um, aggravating hobbies and sport. Often we can combine this with exercises to rehab the uh, rotator cuff and surrounding shoulder muscles. And it's also really important to make sure you're getting adequate pain relief. Uh, if, this, if, this something, if this is something you're not managing, then speak to your GP uh, about getting that organized. Uh, you don't need to worry about masking damage. Um, it's just to, to aid that pain. If you're not getting adequate pain relief with that medication, then potentially a steroid injection could be used. We'd also advise after this that you would need a, a period of time of rest from work um, and repetitive overhead activities. Um, and it's something to, we can consider at the time. If that doesn't work, then potentially we can look at a referral for surgical opinion. But uh, primarily the exercise and offloading is the best um, course of treatment in the first instance.